What is up everybody, welcome to Techpress, I'm Steven, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually start a really custom header into Shopify. So the very first thing you want to do is to log into your Shopify account, it's going to be a really really easy process. So now once again what we want to do in order to get started is to actually get in the customizable section of our settings inside our actual store. So the first thing I want to do is to go directly into settings here, where it says settings down in here. And let's locate the option that says the branding. So here into the left part, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I found the branding section. So this is the very first actual step in order to have a custom header. So you wanted to actually change your logos. You wanted to change the square, your primary colors, your cover images, the slogan, the show description, and the social links. So uh, what I want to do is to hit into alt a default logo. I'm going to start by importing my actual elements of my store. So I'm going to head down into downloads. I'm going to select, let's say, for example, my logo, which in my case, I believe it's this one of the front section. I'm going to select this one. It says processing. So I'm going to go back here into the square version. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So take in mind, take a look into how it's going to be looking my actual uh, Heather version. So if you're using like one theme or another one, it doesn't matter if you change from one or another one, all the elements are going to be appearing into the new version of your, of your actual themes. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I'm going to go here with my colors. I'm going to do exactly the same process. I'm going to go with the contract color. I'm going to make this with the secondary colors like this. I'm going to make, I select these elements and I have my cover images. In my case is this one, I'm going to get into done. And my slogan is happiness, it's on you. So I'm going to go into add slogan, happiness, it's on you. And the short description, I'm going to just go with the something really easy. I'm going to scroll all my way up. And this is how it's going to be looking my channel. So the second step is to click into the X mark. I'm going to locate my online store. And here, what I want to do is to actually customize my theme. So by default, we have these current theme says Dawn. So if you wanted to check it out, what are the popular free themes? You want to scroll a little bit down and check it out. We do have the Dawn version. This is the one that we have currently. We have the refers, we have the craft, we have the sense and the right. So you wanted to just choose like the best option for you and then later on you can change that, customize it later. So in my case, I do have this down option if I wanted to get started by selling stuff. But in my case, I wanted to go with the craft version and hit into add. So this one is going to be making the installation totally for free, of course. And then later on, what you want to do is to publish that one. So later on, I can customize this and I can start with the actual header customization. So I'm going to get into published. And now this is my new current theme. This is how it's going to be looking. I'm going to go into customize. There we go. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of stuff to cover. We have the header section. We have the college. And we have all of this feature collection and the email set it up. Let's go and focus into the upper side where it says college. So here I have the home page and I have the header. If I click here in the upper side, it says header, I have the announcement bar. Usually this announcement bar is like helping you to say like, uh, instead of going with a welcome to our store, you can change that to get a 20% discount with the code. Let's say for example, I'm gonna go with uh, starter 23. So it's gonna be looking a little bit more uh, better, right? So I'm gonna go in back here and I have my announcement bar. Now a add announcement, you can try to add another one, but in my case, I'm gonna just focus into the header version. And now, as you can see, you have the home, the catalog and the contact. If you wanted to change the actual menu, what we can do is to change that directly from our Shopify um, section of our dashboard. So uh, what I want to do is to go into exit, go directly into my sale channel. And here I want to locate my navigation. Here into navigation, we have the menus. And here, what you can do is to change the main menu that we have available. For example, we have here the main menu. As you can see, we were using home, catalog, and contact. So I choose main menu. And what I want to do is to change the items of my menu in order to see that uh, in my actual uh, theme. So I'm gonna go with add menu item. Let's say that I wanted to talk about the about us section. There we go, about us. And hit into add. Now it says here linked to, you can go directly where it says pages 
and here you wanted to add a new page that we are currently having. If you don't have that, that is going to be a real bit obvious. I can go here into the X mark. First of all, add the item to add those later into the menu. So get down into pages. Here into pages, I'm going to go with a new one. And this is the about us. So I'm going to hit here. I have the about us. And here it says content. This is just an example. So I'm going to go now into save. I wanted to have this like really, really fast. So I want you guys to show you how we can add this into the actual menu. So if I go back into my menu, uh, the menu items, I go back here and to add menu item once again, I go with about us. So this is how we can start to customize our header with the actual menu items. So we can go back into pages. I'm going to go into cancel because I wanted to save this, of course. And I'm going to go back here into my blog post. And let's say that I want to help the others to figure out which are like the most trendy deals. So we're going to go with deals. And once again, into the navigation, go back into main menu, menu items here into the name, let's say like trending and here into link. Instead of choosing pages, let's go for blocks. And here should be appearing the one that we could just create it. Now, if you don't see that, you can just go back to the cancel, go into the blog post and make sure that this one is already been uh, added. I'm going to hit into add. And there we go. Here is my menu items. Now, instead of choosing catalog, I want to delete this one. I want to see this. I'm going to hit into save. And now with that being said, I can go back into my online store, customize my new craft and check it out the menu that we have now created we have the home the contact about us and the trending parts here so let's say that now i want to change the actual color of the header so i click the i'm gonna go with the home page i click there now here what i want to do is to import my main logo that we have just uploaded the course before this is why it's really important to do that logo that appears into the upper side of your url so i'm going to do exactly the same thing this one, hit it done, and boom. Now into my colors, I have just added a colors already down into the brand section. So this one has now been added automatically. This is why I did this before. So I don't want to focus now into the colors. But what I want to do now is just to go a little bit back. I have my theme colors already been added. And then what I want to do is to change this one into the middle left. Now sticky Heather, I want to go into the always. So if I scroll a little bit down, this logo will not disappear. Check it out how it's going to be looking. So maybe I can go with reduce logo size like this. And it's looking a little bit more. The mobile layout logo position, I want to go and leave it like that. And then I'm going to hit now into save. So lastly, what I want to do is to see this one into the mobile version to see how it's going to be looking. And if I like that, I'm going to hit now into save. And then later on, I can go directly into my desktop and see how it's going to be looking with without the editor mode. So as you can see, we have now edited our header customization and it wasn't looking. It's actually not looking uh, any bad. We can change more elements as we are customizing our actual store, but it's going to be really, really easy to add the branding, the colors, everything related to your actual store company uh, added inside the settings before we are into the editing of the theme. So with that being said, I think we have now covered all of the elements, something that was really, really easy to use here into the actual Shopify. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if this was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I will see you on the next video. See you soon.